Well, hello everyone and welcome back to Red Dragon TV and here we are with another lockdown chat and we have the 2020 BDO World Champion, Wayne Moran with us. Wayne, first of all, how are you? Well, considering the situation, I'm, I'm fine to be honest, Phil. Yeah, yeah, I'm enjoying the weather, keeping it as busy as it can, but um, it is what it is, isn't it? Yeah, not, not ideal for anyone. How's lockdown been for you? Oh, well, I, I can't even play darts because my internet is, is so it's weak. I got there yesterday, well, I, I, I went up, up the fibre, the fi I got all that, and it's still not good enough modus. I could have gone on to play on that, but where I live, unfortunately, it's it's not the best. I was going to say, I spoke to Peter Wright as well, and it's almost the worst possible year to be world champion, isn't it, at the moment? Oh, you know what I mean? It, it, to be honest, it's everybody's dream to become world champion. Well, it's been mine since I've been a kid, to be honest. But um, yeah, it, to add what I've had, it, it's it's not real, really, is it? It's it's, um, it's a nightmare, not a dream. Yeah, I was going to say it's not it's not nice to lift that beautiful, famous trophy and then not to be able to show it off for the year. It must be heartbreaking. Well, yeah, it is. You know what I mean? Because um, I was open to get as many exhibitions in as I could as well, and and the ones I did do, I done some for charity as well because we had a lot of floods up this way, and I took the cup, and everybody was really loving it, and the response I had was tremendous. To be fair, like, um, but there you are. I, I, it's it's very very disappointing. You don't believe how disappointed I am, to be honest, like. No, I'd say, I must, I'd say only the world champions will know how that feels not to be able to be introduced as world champion as well at not just exhibitions, but these big tournaments as well that are probably going to be cancelled as, as well on the horizon. Well, yeah. Yeah, it, it's with everything's cancelled. We don't know when we're going to start back on the thing. Do you know what I mean? It, it's Everything's blank to me at the moment. But just try to just hang it in there. Just hang it in there. I, I spoke to my manager and, and he's, he's in the same program, program as me like and he said, well, play by you now and um, we go from when, when we get it word like. Whilst you've been on lockdown, have you had time to reflect on what you achieved at the O2 in January? I have really because it's people have been putting it on Facebook and I've watched the game over. I've watched the final over and over and and I'm quite pleased with myself what I've done. And I think it, it, somebody put on the other day, um, Cymru darts and the four world champions. Yeah. And I look back at that and it, it's it's unreal when you look at it, Phil, you know, sometimes. No, but, definitely. Um, yeah, and, and the top average as well, to be honest. Yeah. <laughs> it was one, I was obviously doing some research for this and apart from in the first round against Justin Thompson, you were never really in any danger, were you? You were always, com not comfortable is the right word, but you were always in front in games and had that barrier if you needed it. Yeah, because I think the two, the semi-final and the final where I went 2 nil down, I didn't deserve to be 2 nil down. You know, a lot of people would have given in. Because it was a, a longer format then, I think I'd give me more of a... I think if it was the first round and I was 2 nil down, that's the difference then. You know, it's like you're really under pressure. But, but looking back at it, 2 nil down in the semis and the final, but I still had plenty of time to come back. And I was always confident I was going to give them a game anyway. Yeah. What was it like playing at the O2 for the first time as well compared to Lakeside? Because a lot was made up in the build-up that it was a big move for the BDO and everything like that. What what was it like? Well, not because it's not because I won it, Phil, but I, I thought the games I played in, it was a great atmosphere there. Yeah. Um, obviously, the final and, and the semi-final, it was, it was good crowds there. A lot of the games I watched through the week, it, you know what I mean? It, it just wasn't, but it was, I was quite... I was a lucky win. When I played, the atmosphere was great. And I really, I like Lakeside, don't get me wrong. I think Lakeside is iconic venue. But to be fair, this, this O2 was a nice venue, mind. That's the only thing Des did do a little bit, right? Is get it to the O2. What he done after that was a no go. I was going to say, I was going to, going to touch on Des now you've brought it up. What was it like going from you've just won the World Championship, you've got your hands on that famous trophy? So when you were told what you were going to be paid, what was that like? And we all think we all knew that it wasn't going to be mega money, but did you ever think it was going to be as low as what it was? Well, we knew it definitely wasn't going to be a nud thousand, but I had a lot of whispers it was going to be 50, perhaps 60, so you're getting a 40% cut um, or 50% cut at maximum. 
But then when I had that email on that Tuesday night, I think it was 12 o'clock in the night, because there was nobody heard anything. I'd come home, it was a great Monday. Don't get me wrong, still had a good Monday when I come home. <laughs> a good Monday night. <laughs> <laughs> and um, yeah, when I had an email, and Nicola said, we haven't seen, have read the email? I said, no, go on, tell me. And then when she told me what I had, I, I just, I thought she was messing about, to be honest, at first. But I just couldn't believe it. 23 grand, 77,000 pound deficit. I said, hell of a cut. Ridiculous. You know what I mean? It's it's me and Jim that I, I, I took the brunt of it. You know, when you when you lose for this round, you you, you don't mind a couple of hundred quid and, and what have you. But seventy thousand seventy seven thousand is is it's, it's life changing to a lot of people, Phil, and it's it's been life changing for me at my age. Oh, it's a, what, it's a ridiculous sum of money. You know, to what was gonna come with it as well, with all the exhibitions and, and so forth. And then we had this coronavirus on top of this as well. <laughs> You know, you can ask the rest of the professors. They've been so sympathetic with me. I've, I've had loads of texts off them, and what I would say, no, how good do they feel for me? But um, I can't change nothing at the moment now, and uh, it is what it is. I've just got to kick on when it starts again. And, and I did have a good start to this year, because I won, I won the tournament in um, Romania, Slovakia. Yeah. Semi, semi-final in the Dutch Open. So I had, a, I had a great start after winning this cup. No, you did, yeah. As well, just the last bit on the, the, the Des situation. When he resigned, I think a lot of people thought, OK, the BDO could recover from this. Were you absolutely gobsmacked when he was re-elected as chairman? It's a joke, isn't it? It's, 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 a, it's a joke. I'm not being funny. I'll, then he resigned again. Then he got back on again. It's a calamity, to be honest. It's, it's a no, BDO is gone, 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 gone. Yeah, there'll be no more BDO as far as I'm concerned. Anyway, they they might even if they get in, they'll just they'll just run the the um, the county side of it and that. Yeah. It's, it's that don't interest me anymore now. Do you know what I mean? So um, no, I I'll be with the WDF tournament I'm going to now, and we we just take it one step at a time. BDO is a nil for me now. As well, going going forward, is the ambition there to try Q School? Because I know you said it was a little bit too soon this year, the turnaround from the O2 to Q School. If it if Q School does go ahead next year, is the temptation there to try it? I think I will be, yeah. yeah. I know I'm, I'll be another year older, but I was, well, I was entered in for it last year. But to be honest, Phil, when I had that email, and I know that the pressure was going to be on me anyway. And... Yeah. I, I don't think my head wasn't right. And obviously, I'm one of them players. I got to have my head right. You know, if it's not, it's constantly turning up. And I know my game. I know my, I got a game to have a talk card. And I don't think it was the right time. I spoke to um, Paul Brown, and he was in Minnesota, and he said, Look, it's entirely up to you. And I spoke to Simon, and I thought, Simon, even he said to me, Wayne, I think you're doing the right thing. And when it came from him, I thought, right, that's definitely time I'm going to go then. And, and it was right. I think it was a right decision on my part. Oh, you yeah, know, of course, I remember speaking to Glenn about it. And he said that he struggled because it was so close to Lakeside to go into Q school. That time to prepare mentally just isn't there. Well, yeah, it was only giving me uh, three days, three days, I think. I'd come home on a Monday, Monday evening. And then I would be uh, going away again on the Wednesday, ready for the Thursday. So yeah. I had that email on, on Tuesday night. <laughs> Save for the money, and it'll be funny if it would have been in my house. No, I just my head just wasn't right for it. No, I, I completely understand that. But looking back going into the year as well, what was it like playing at like the Grand Slam for the first time? I know you didn't have your best tournament, but did that give you a taste of what could be going forward? Yeah, that's what I wanted, you know. What I mean, to get into Grand Slam, I was, I was, it was like next big thing to win in the world championship for me, but obviously, I had that accident and I hadn't. Yeah thrown for well, over six weeks, you know what I mean? And I, I didn't want to, I had a little, little bit of practice before, but my head and everything, but I, I give it my best shot. Do you know what I mean? I think, I think if it come a bit soon for me after my accident. Yeah, no, that's, that's, that's understandable because the prep that goes into big tournaments, I'm guessing you tick over and then the prep really ramps up going into these big tournaments. Yeah, 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 definitely. Yeah. Um, but even like when I come back, the darts I had, were, they were, I've spoken to Dean Williams when in the Grand Slam and he said to me, they, they seem as if they were like dropping, they were too light. And I, I could feel them, they were too light for me because of my arm. I just couldn't leave them go, leave them through. 
So we had a good chat then, and um, we made me say, "Did you do that?" And it worked. I was saying, "Let's see that." But yeah, yeah. <laughs> he works miracles, doesn't he? Obviously, he, he, brilliant. Ones. Oh, yeah, he yeah. made Peter Wright's new ones for the worlds as well. What a coincidence, isn't it? Eh? Yeah, and my yeah, right, he's the man, mate. He is the man. <laughs> and, and and again, looking forward, when when do you think we get back to some normality, and when do you hope to be playing competitive darts again? Do you know, I, I ask, in my own head, with all of it, trying to get back, I, I can't see me doing anything much before November, I tell you straight. I, I just can't. I can't. Because the pubs and clubs, they're not going to be opening that, and they're not going to be organising any of the tournaments. Because obviously, these bigger tournaments, they want the people there yeah. to get revenue in as well. Like, So, I, I, I really don't know. The only thing I'm hoping, Bill, is if the exhibitions can pick up after yeah. October. Do you know what I mean? Because yeah, I had, I had exhibitions yeah. booked. I had all exhibitions booked, but they were cancelled due to the coronavirus. Thing. Yeah, no, definitely. And again, moving moving forward, have you had much correspondence from the WDF about what their plans are going forward? Well, only what they put it on social media. Not personally, you know, they haven't got in touch with me personally. Like, but it's only what um, they've been coming out on social media. And it, it looks all right. It looks good as far as I'm concerned. I, I think they, they're the way forward for non-video, you know what I mean? It's got to be, yeah, yeah. They're going to they're gonna hold the Masters and the World Championship now, aren't they? Well, yeah, that, that's what it looks look, looks like going forward. I know they had discussions with, obviously, Matt Porter and Barry at the PDC to maybe provide that feed into the PDC that's been missing from the BDO, which I think would be quite good. Yeah. Well, I, they've got good people in charge with Richard. I think Richard's a lovely fellow and he knows his... He knows his onions, I think. Like he's been yeah. about them a long time, like you know what I mean. So and I, I know them all. I know all that. that um, and, um, Nick is just taking over a secretary of it, and he so yeah, yeah. It's it's. I think it's looking good. It's uh, if they can get the, the, the finance side of it now, and I think that'll be the way forward for for the old video boys then. Yeah. Obviously, Welsh starts as well. It's in such a good place right now, isn't it? You've got yourself as world champion. We've got uh, Gary, um, Gary Price flying the flag for the PDC, ranked number three. Johnny Clayton, Nick Kenny getting his tour card. Yeah, doing well, yeah. yeah it's, you, you can't, you can't fault there at the moment. You know what I mean? Everything is flying. But like you said, then you've got this. What's going to happen after this coronavirus? Everything's going to, it's going to take time to get going again, get motivated and up and running. Do you know what I mean? I think everybody will because you haven't played for so long. Yeah. Um. Yeah, it's I like I said, but with my internet being down, not 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 that the best of it. That don't help as well. But um, I'm not I'm not the only one that is not playing. So so I take it we we all gonna be in the same boat, really. We I think so. Anyway, is tournament wise, because it's different to playing in your front room or whatever. I'm playing in front of a crowd, and that's the, that's the way I see it. I I you know what I mean. I I, I like playing on the stage. Um, that's my best game, and, and I like playing in front of a crowd. So playing in the house, I don't think I, would, I don't know what would have happened anyway. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> were, were you a big practicer before lockdown, or were you no. ticked over? No. no, never ask anybody. I'm not a practicer. Bill, on the game, on the day I'm playing, I will practice then. But don't ask me to have a practice. I come home from work or whatever. I'll pick up a dart. No, that's, that's a no go. I'll, I'll play when I play. If I got a game in the night, then I'll have a practice. Oh, well, I know it's just crazy. As long as I said, as long as that's right, yeah, is why I didn't go to Q school. So, I'm mm -hmm. guessing from that point of view, if you're not a big practicer, then you'll feel quite comfortable when we do come back because you've never had to practice to get to that point anyway. I think, I would, yeah, I think I'd be one of them lucky ones because, um. You can ask the boys that we travel with, you know what I mean? I, I, I don't pick up a dart from one day to the next, really. It's just on the day. I'll go on a throw, like on a tournament. I'm yeah. up early and I prepare myself my way and that's it. Like it's just, It was the same in, in um, the O2. Uh, people say, oh, do we go out on a throw tonight? I said, no, no, I'll do my own thing, which I always have done and I always will do. And it's works, it works for me. Are you quite superstitious, like of your daily routine practice on a match? Yeah, yeah very. <laughs> <laughs> Everything's got to be right. My case got to be a certain way. We got. Well, Nicola calls, calls me a freak. To be honest, <laughs> it's, it's, it's like 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, Wayne, it's an absolute pleasure sitting down talking to you during lockdown, mate. It's been really fascinating listening to you and listening to the story of how it all unfolded and the, the heartbreak that it's caused being world champion and that you can't go and showcase it. Phil, it's been my pleasure. It's been great speaking to you. It's nice to speak to somebody else from non Nicola. <laughs> <laughs> Wayne, absolute pleasure, mate. Thanks for joining us here at Red Dragon. Lovely. Thanks again, Phil. All the Cheers, best. Buddy. Take care. Take care.